Hello and welcome to my second video tutorial on HTML and CSS. In this tutorial I'll be showing you more basic tags and like how to put images on your website and stuff like that. So first I already have the basic um, tags that you would use. Well, I want to give it a title of tutorial 2. But well, let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to show you the header tags. And it's the tag is h1 through h6. So you have six different header tags that you can use. And just to show you what one looks like is it's basically like a paragraph tag. Tag. I save it. I already have it opened in my Firefox, but you can see this is a basic tag. I mean, it's just like a paragraph tag. You can add styles like change the color and stuff like that, but it's already styled with a font and it's bold too. And there's like six of these H1 through H6. I'm just going to add them in real quick for you to show you what each one looks like. And this is going to take a while, but four, five, and starting from H1, H1 is the biggest, and going to H6, which is the smallest. Change that to five and refresh the page and you see h1 is the biggest and h6 is the smallest these are like you can change the style let's go ahead i mean change the color to i don't know red and just save refresh just like a paragraph tag basically except for you usually don't store like a lot of like a paragraph stuff in a h1 tag like you would a paragraph tag but this is like at the beginning of a page if you like want to say like the title of whatever it is you're writing they're useful for stuff like that but again very simple now I'm going to show you some how to make a link this is achieved using the a tag so you have opening and closing and in between them is what's going to be the link so I don't know well we're going to go to Google this is a link to Google but if you save and then just refresh it's not a link so you have to give it a place to go really and this is achieved through the href or hyperlink reference I think that's what it's called yeah um to like the website or the page that you want to go so let's go to google okay if you save and refresh then of course if you click it it'll go to google i mean very simple but remember if you're going to like a, a website to always put HTTP at the very beginning because like let's get rid of it and see what happens if you save it control s and refresh the page then when you hover over it you can see at the very bottom it's trying to open a file on my computer so if you click it it's trying to find the file on the desktop called uh, www.google.com and of course I don't have a file called that so I'm going to go back and you see that my tutorial 2 which is what this file is which I saved it as is on the desktop so it tries to find uh, Google on the same directory that I saved my tutorial2.html or this file so 
always remember to put HTTP at the very beginning and you can go to Google right there so now I'm going to show you a image tag this is what a basic image tag looks like and to like retrieve the file that you want to put on your page you have to use the attribute src or source of the file and you can put you put any file from anywhere on the internet and anywhere on your computer again if you're using a file on the internet remember the http and I found a nice little picture of kittens I'll save it and then go back to my file and here it is right here kittens I hope you like this video tutorial comment rate and subscribe